What is up, my fellow prod coders? Welcome to yet another episode of Build Yelp in React. Today, we are going to work on this green part. So in the last video, we did we already finished the blue part. And now we're just going to continue with the green part. And this isn't even a component by itself. It's just an image. So this will be fairly easy. Let's go back to our code editor and let's go to our source directory. And in here we are going to create a new folder and we will call it assets. Now I already prepared uh, the logo for you. So I'm going to link it in the description down below so you can download it and use it. And let's just drag and drop this asset in. There we have it. So that one will be used. And now what we can do is we can just import uh, this image just like you would import a component. So you can just say assets slash logo dot PNG. And then you have it. And what we also want to do, we want to import uh, our styles because we want to control how the image looks in terms of width and height. So we can say landing.module.css. Nice. And um, our landing page, sorry. Cool, so let's just create an image tag. So we're going to say img source equals logo, the one we just loaded. And then we say class name equals styles.logo. So we haven't created that yet, but we will do that in a minute. And now we get a little warning over here, which says uh, image tags need to have an L prop. This is true. So let's just add an L prop to silence this warning. So we're going to say, okay, this is the logo. And so far we actually haven't applied any styling to it yet. So that's why it's pretty big and a little bit clumsy. Uh, so we probably want to change the size and, uh, you know, the width, the height and probably some margin over here. Because if you go back to the finished application, you see that there is quite some space between the logo itself and the top bar. And of course, the logo itself is smaller. So we can just go back to our uh, code editor and to our landing page CSS file. And we're going to create the class that we want to use. I checked uh, the original Yelp website and I kind of found 180 pixel width and a height of 80 pixels to be somewhat reasonable. Although we're not striving to create like a perfect copy, like it should look somewhat similar. So now it's going, it's a little bit smaller. And what's still missing here is the distance between the logo itself and the top bar. So we can do that by just adding a margin. So we can say margin is 50 pixels, zero. So what this means is we're going to add a margin of 50 pixels at the top and at the bottom and zero on the left and on the right. So it's like a shortcut. You could also say margin uh, top equals 50 pixel, margin bottom equals 50 pixel, uh, margin left zero and margin right zero. But this is just uh, shorter and less CSS to write. Nice. So uh, let's quickly check how it looks. Okay, now that looks kind of better. Now there's a little bit of space in between. And um, yeah, but the only thing that we don't have yet is it's not properly centered. In fact, all of these components are not properly centered because if we go back to our uh, screenshot from the finished application, we see that the components are somehow centered. And let's just take care of that later on when we finished with the remaining components. The only thing we could do right now is let's have a look at the fav icon. So over here we still have this default uh, React fav icon, which is yeah, not really nice. Like we should replace it with our own custom fav icon. Our title, we already changed that in the first lecture, I think. But let's just update the fav icon as well, as well so that everything looks fine. So let's just go to the public folder. And there we have it. 
and we are just going to delete it. And I already prepared uh, the, the other five icon, like the custom one. Just make sure that this time around you drag it inside the public folder. So the fav icon must be in the public folder. And there we have it. So if we go back and reload our page, nice. Then we see that we have these, uh, I don't know what that even is, this logo thing at the top of our bar, at the top of our tab here. That's pretty nice. Cool. So that's it pretty much for the green part over here. Uh, in the next lecture, we're going to continue with uh, the other parts, namely the search bar and these icons and the text over here. The only thing that we haven't done yet is we haven't committed our changes yet. So let's do that. Uh, we can say, uh, let's first check what changes we made. Yes, we changed the fav icon. We changed the landing page, the landing page CSS, and we added these assets. Okay, that's pretty okay. Now let's just say git add dash a. Let's say git commit dash m add logo. And then we're going to say uh, git push. Yep, so that's it. We should now have everything in our git repository. Everything should be fine. Let's just reload. Yes, cool. So that's it uh, for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the episode, please give it a thumbs up and don't subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.